Hello and welcome to a new week and to an inspiration pop up. Hi, Bridget, how are you? Well, as we were saying before we started, this is why today's topic is today's topic. The today's topic is overcoming frustration. Yeah. And actually, in some ways, I shouldn't be frustrated because I had to. So my car license needs to be renewed by the 30th, okay, by the end of the month. And here in South Africa, uh, when it comes to things related to municipal government, it's a little bit challenging. You need a lot of patience and um, time, actually. Time and patience is what you need. Mm -hmm. I went to tend to arrive there at quarter to eight at the civic center. I was out by 10 past eight with my car license. I've never had such an amazing experience. So actually, I should be so not frustrated. But so I think where does the frustration come? Well, I think in life, you know, we like I do a few different jobs, and I just think in life, certain things we have certain expectations of how we want things done or how we think things should be done, and then they're not, which gives you more work, and you're like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was not <laughs> too bad this morning with the driver's license. No, that was great. That was great. But I just think in life generally, I'd love to share some tips with people. Ha. If but you're first, interested. before you share the tips, it would be interesting. Do you, can you um, uh, explain how frustration comes up? Because it's like, if you say we have as expectations from other people and so, but how do you feel that it comes up and it's too much? And what is frustration? Because it's such a subtle um, emotion. No. It's not. No. For no. me, it's a subtle emotion, but for you, it's perhaps a womb's <laughs> emotion. No, but I think for you, I think you feel it in your body. So I don't think you directly relate you know, it comes out physically with you. So I don't think you directly go, oh, hang on a minute, that's frustration, because it's not as clear and obvious. Whereas for me, frustration, I feel irritable and I feel angry. So it's quite a strong emotion, which makes me know, okay, hang on a minute, this is frustration. This is why you're feeling irritable and angry. And then I have to catch myself. Because otherwise I can become unpleasant. <laughs> yeah, I want to experience you when you are unpleasant. <laughs> But still, I have also to say, because like frustration can be like um, a layer over anger. Because if you are a person who is willing to show and to express anger, I would say it's perhaps not too bad to have some little frustrations around. But if you are a person, I would say I, I would count myself into it. I, I'm not so good in expressing anger because I am a people pleaser and I want to be everybody the starling or for a long time I wanted it to be. And so I, I said no, no anger, no, no crazy um, emotions, what you can't control. And so then it's like a cold anger that is always under your skin, under you. And I realized as well that these pains, what I have for a long time, like pain, pain in muscles and joints. And so it's perhaps also a, a calling from your body, say, okay, something is not right. So when I had, had to leave school because I was not happy in school anymore, I had big pains and I didn't know where it comes from. Today, I would say there is some frustration causing this for sure. So be yeah. careful when your body is talking. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think with all of these things, I mean, a beautiful, a beautiful thing is, first of all, it's just to calm your mind and clear your mind. Because when it's when you're angry and frustrated, in my situation, because it's not body, but it's it's my mind, it, it, you're all over the place, you know, you just, you literally just got to like, calm, yeah. clear, it's all going to be okay. Okay, so that's the first tip. Calm down. Yeah. It's all going to be okay. What's the second tip? The next one is to come back to your problem. So like what, what's really, really going on here? So the person phoned late. So you didn't get all the information you wanted before you had a meeting, whatever the case is. Like what is the main problem? And, and is it really that serious? 
Really? Is it? Is it? So, that means as well, do your reality check, no? So sometimes exactly. if you, because what you said with the expectations, if you have big ex expectations and then it doesn't come as you want it to, to be, then there is a frustration. But if you say it is like it is, she didn't phone me and it was not like she didn't like me or she didn't, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. So it's just not a phone call. So could be yeah. she just forgot it because something was wrong. So, so it's sometimes what we what kind of attention we give to the things what we expect and that becomes frustration. Third yeah. tip. No, that's exactly How to overcome it. it. Do you have another tip? Yep. Go. So if you can describe the problem in one sentence. So then you don't make a big story out of it. You know, as you we were saying earlier before we started, I need certain information when I have my meeting on a Monday. That's nobody else's problem. <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> But when I'm asking for that information and I don't get it, I'm like, really? Seriously? But when I've shortened it and then I, I get a bit of, you know, an understanding of why I haven't got that information or the other person wasn't aware how important it is, that also does help. So you don't make a big drama, you know? It doesn't have to be a soap opera. Very good. Very good. Yeah, and I always say feel the feeling because I know that frustration and anger doesn't really feel so nicely. So perhaps then you give it room and you just breathe and we always dive through it because it's a feeling. It's an emotion that m moves through you. And if you say, nee, I don't want to have it, it gets stronger. So it does. Yeah. So and sometimes then sport is also a good thing in this very. time. Move because emotion yeah very movement is a non-negotiable absolutely then also defining why this frustrating thing is worrying you so define what that is is it because of uh, being disorganized is it because it's going to make you late is it because you're going to have to pay a fine like what like define why why mm -hmm. whatever that is The next one is what are your realistic options? So what is realistic given the situation? Mm -hmm. And also at the end, it's always like frustration can be also a transformation because you be, become aware of things that are not aligned in your life anymore. And then, then you make a change. If the body wouldn't talk or didn't talk, then you wouldn't change. Yeah. So also, you know, when you see the reaction of somebody else, you know, so say, I don't know, you're now having a conversation and there was a short tone. And you see that you've, you've heard somebody else and you're like, no, actually, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So in saying that, make a decision to manage your emotions so that you don't lash out on other people and you don't have a bad week and a bad day. Yeah, and if you can't manage your emotions, we are happy to help because yeah. we know it how it works. We went through it several times and do it always and help each other. And yeah, so we know how strange frustration can be, but it is a change maker that we can tell you as well. And so we are happy to meet you somewhere in online between South Africa and Germany. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. Have a good week. Bye.